Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I uh, wanted to show you or review uh, the Aftershock bone conductive earphones or headphones rather and uh, tell you a couple of things that comes with it. Case to hold your product. USB charger which you actually plug your headphones into and then plug it into your computer to actually charge this power unit and an extension cord as well. Tell you a few things I don't like about the product first before we move to all the great things I, I, I like about it. So first, uh, no volume control. No volume control so you have to set your volume ahead of time uh, especially if you uh, a motorcycle rider like myself or even when you're running, no one likes to stop and adjust their volume and what have you. The only other thing I don't like are the the ends, the connections here uh, are a bit flimsy. Uh, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fortify them with some Sugru uh, form and fix stuff, and uh, I'll tell you about that in another review uh, later on. So anyway. <clears throat> Back to the the great things now that I like about this. So I'm of course an avid runner. Uh, ride a motorcycle. I ride I ride a mountain bike. Uh, you know I rollerblade. I do a lot of skateboard. So a lot of these things I love to listen to my music as well. So um, the one thing I hate is uh, the earbuds that go in your ear that have to be stuffed in your ear. It's very annoying to me. So I'm probably in the very small percentage considering the market is flooded with a lot of in-ear earbuds, so I guess most people like that. In any event, uh, these of course go right, sit right over your ear and in front, so, um, so it's great for when you have a, a hat on, or in my case, a helmets for when I'm rollerblading, skateboarding, biking, or even better suited for motorcycle helmets because if any of you are motorcycle riders um, out there and you try to put earphones in your ears uh, and put a helmet on, even if you uh, accomplish that, it feels like the helmet is pushing the earbuds uh, further in your ear and then there's that whole pressure uh, thing that uh, becomes annoying after a while. Uh, so with these, the sound quality remains the same and you get you don't get the discomfort from uh, uh, and also of course legally we're not supposed to have any music playing in our ears because we need to hear everything around us not that I've had that problem before because I can still hear things around me but this of course makes it much easier uh, and much better um, and a much better ride so overall I give it a solid eight uh, the two points missing based on the flimsiness and no volume control and also you have your standard controls uh, tapping the answer call button twice of course moves uh, forward your music three moving back of course and of course there's a power button that you turn on of course in the blue indicator here tells you when the power is on and uh, so that, this whole thing may need a little revamping. It has a clip here to clip on to your shirt or in your pocket or what have you. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I've been trying it out. I've run with it. I've uh, ridden my motorcycle uh, and uh, with my helmet on. And it's a great product. It's, uh, and it sounds great. Uh, so check it out, the Aftershocks. Thanks for watching.